All right, what's going on, people? We're going to back here, and today we're going to talk about Naoya Inoue versus Stephen Fulton. My prediction on it. Now, do note that I've already made a prediction video on this a long time ago, but it's on Patreon, all right? So this is going to be like a part two or a shorter version of that, but... Yeah, my prediction pretty much hasn't changed since then. I'm still rooting for Fulton. I'm going to tell you why right now. So let's get right into it. Let's look at some factors which makes me think that Fulton can win. So the first thing we're going to see here is how easy it is to put Inoue on the blade stance with your right hand. All right. So one thing that he has added to his game ever since he moved to the US is that upper body movement. But the main consequence of that is that I really don't like him using the shoulder roll too much. And Ever since the fight with uh, Maloney, when he fought Butler, same thing. He's been using the shoulder roll quite a lot, and it's, I don't really think it's for him, you know? And if he faces somebody with good volume, good combinations, and if Fulton lets his hands go, I think she can, or he can catch Inoue on that bladed stance. He can take advantage of this habit by Inoue, this newly built habit. So as you can see here again, he's gonna first throw, I think, a check cook right here. And then he's gonna get stuck on that blazer stance, and then Maloney will try to throw a right hand on him. Good for him right there, he ducked down and then he was able to get back into his stance, but again, this addition of the blazer stance on Inoue, I don't think it's gonna help him, I don't really think it's gonna help him out, you know. He's much better off keeping the high guard, keeping the keeping his stance balanced and not blading himself, not getting to a blazer stance, because when he does so, he cannot really counter back, he's not really good at countering from that bladed stance. So that's one thing that I think Fulton can take advantage of right here. Second one, this is just a tiny issue. Um, Inoue has a 3 inch deficit when it comes to reach, so I think he's gonna have to step in on all of his combinations. And when he does so, I think Fulton's gonna catch him with a check hook, check left hooks. So this is one thing that Fulton can also use right here in order to neutralize the combination of Inoue. Because this is a much different fight for Inoue. When he fought Butler, Butler had a shorter reach. So um, Inoue didn't really have to step in. That's why he looked good. He didn't have to step in. He didn't have to commit on his combinations. But when he does so, he gets countered. You know, he watched the fight with Denaire, watched the fight with, um, who else? With, with, watch this fight right here with Maloney. When he had to step in, he's actually more vulnerable to counters. He's more vulnerable to getting caught on the way in. So that's another thing that Fulton can take advantage of. So next up right here, again, the addition of the upper body movement causes him to... He added right here the duck. He likes to duck down right here, but when he ducks down, as you can see, Maloney was able to frame his head down and then do some dirty or throw some sneaky punches while he was down there. So again, Fulton, I think he can take advantage of this. Will I, or do I think that he's gonna win automatically by doing these techniques? Hell no. But these newly built habits by Inoue, I think it's gonna be something that, again, Fulton can take advantage of. Rolling right here and then getting stuck under there. If Fulton can pin the head of Inoue and then throw some sneaky punches, he's gonna be able to score some good points right there. And the main thing which Inoue has had problems with, you know, for a long time, for the longest time, is really getting countered when he jabs, alright? So, when he jabs right here, stays on the center. As you can see, when he jabs right here with Maloney, he stays at the center, and then he gets caught. So, let's see another example here. He's gonna throw a jab. And it's gonna get caught right there as he jabs with Maloney, okay? And because Fulton has a long reach, obviously, his jab is gonna get there first. And um, he's gonna score a lot of points by countering Inoue right here. So Inoue really has to come in probably with more head movement. Probably needs to learn to keep his head away from the center when he throws a shot right there. He threw a body shot and then he got caught with a jab on the way in from Maloney. And then here, let's see another one. He's gonna throw a jab again, staying at the center, bam. And let me remind you guys, he didn't even step in on that. He didn't even step in too hard on that. When he fights Fulton, he's gonna have to step in harder, and he's gonna have to step in from a much further distance. So it's gonna be much harder for him to reach Fulton, and Fulton will just make him eat jabs all night. However, let me tell you guys this. I'm really not confident about this prediction. This is one of those predictions where there are a lot of questions that needs to be answered first. I would have liked to see Inoue fight another 122 pounder first before this fight because I want to see if he carries that power all the way up to 122. If he does, I think he has a good chance of stopping 
fault him, you know, if he carries that power. But again, all of those are unknown because this is going to be his first fight at 122. So this is one prediction that I'm not confident with, but I'm going to say it anyways. I'm going with Fulton via decision on this one. I think he'll be able to take the power of Inoue, although Inoue will be a little bit bigger. I think Inoue, or I think Fulton is uh, used to the big boys. He's used to getting caught with those big ass shots. So that's what I think about this fight all right i think fulton will eat those shots and he's gonna win via decision so i'll see you guys soon again it's gonna be tough because it's in japan by the way but i still got faith and yeah I, i'm going with fulton via decision on this one i might be wrong though so subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys soon peace out